Well, I call this show Confrontations because nature, the landscape, and the machines are really confronting each other. This piece is a mono print. Uh, in fact, most of uh, the images are mono prints or monotypes because I am a printmaker in heart at least. So mono printing is the way to go. The title of it is Scooped Up. It's a machine scooping up the landscape. This is another monotype uh, called Bulldozer, and it's a combination of monotype and collagraph. Uh, this would be also another uh, monoprint where it is a, a vitriograph, which means a, a print from a plate, glass plate, and then over it another collagraph. This is also a monotype, watercolor based monotype and drawing over that. I was uh, searching how to explain or express rather my uh, preoccupation with the machines and the landscape and so this is one of the first ones when uh, I was dealing with that landscape and the machines. This one was my most challenging piece because it's a combination technique print. It's large and I, I've used uh, etching and uh, woodcut and linoleum cut. And in fact, I had to search, ask friends, because my press is not large enough for printing it. Luckily, I met uh, Stephen Leffler, and he let me gracefully and graciously use his big press in his studio. So thanks to him. This one is another um, monoprint where I was watching the area around Pacific Northwest College of Art, how it was disappearing. The old style of buildings around that area where I used to go with my students uh, sketching and suddenly all these huge buildings and that old part of the town just disappearing. So it's called obliteration. This is monotype. There was one of the first ones I was planning uh, because there is a big building across our, uh, our building, our gallery, being built, again, part of that Pearl District disappearing under these huge, tall buildings. So I watched it with sort of uh, dismay. This is an older painting which I changed, uh, but thematically it goes together with the machines because after all it is the structures in a uh, landscape and it's called distances. And this was my last piece. I was running out, I couldn't do it as a print because the printing takes really a long time to develop. So I resorted to drawing. Land of the high uh, voltage. It could have been turned into print. This is charcoal, watercolor? It's watercolor, charcoal, and pastel. This piece in the window, it's a lithograph, colored lithograph, which I created in Prague with a wonderful printer. So this is my <laughs> uh, sort of ache, really. I expressed aching feeling uh, from the window of my dentist in Beaverton. I saw a large nursery disappear under these machines, eating it up and row houses growing out on that. It was a really shocking experience for me. And then of course, all these machines around, and then I went to Prague and there was a machine, the same machine sitting in front of my friend's uh, house. 
so I needed to do something about it. In fact, it was really um, the initiation. So that's the first real print uh, which I created there. I didn't know anything about machines, so I needed to learn about it. And uh, I discovered Shrinky Dinks in last January. I started working with this and learning about the machines while having fun with the shrinky dinks. You draw on about 8 by 10 piece of plastic and then you put it into an oven for about 300 degrees Fahrenheit and in four minutes, even less sometimes, it shrinks to 25%. They look sort of precise and, and it was fun uh, working with it and learning about the machines at the same time. And I really went uh, slightly crazy with that, uh, but uh, it was a good preparation. And some are hanging because I like it uh, hanging off the wall to give it a little more of that uh, jewelry-like feel especially confronting it then with the machine which destroys. I created um, for our toy show last month. There are two uh, where I thought it would be nice to have some uh, little different uh, setup for them. So I put them into the shadow boxes. This one in the black shadow box the back was a little too dark, so I removed the backing and put just a plexiglass on back so it's see-through uh, from both sides. It was hard work. The prints were really hard work, but it was fun. <laughs>